The humanitarian crisis in Ukraine is beyond anything we've seen in the 21st century, with now 3 million people forced from their homes by Russian attacks. And among all the other tragedies, the war has put the adoption of Ukrainian orphans on hold. Jen Mitchell is a co-founder of Horse, Host Orphans Worldwide, here to talk about this heartbreaking development. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Yes, thank you for having us. Tell me what you're seeing um, with Host Orphans Worldwide. and how this crisis is unfolding at the orphanages and what your organization is trying to do to help. Our, we have a team on the ground currently in Poland. They are um, meeting the needs of orphanages as they land in Poland. Um, many orphanages are in route. The Ukrainian government and the Polish government are working together to provide housing and basic needs. And then we're coming alongside and supporting in any way that we can with providing medicine and clothes and food. We had a little girl that was diabetic and she needed some special food. So our team went and got her the food that she needed. We're providing many different things to just assist in the relocation of the kiddos. Well, tell me specifically, I want to know what specifics. Paint a picture for me, what your crew on the ground is seeing and the dire need there. We've seen images of how terrible it is for the country as a whole. What about for the children specifically and these children yes. who are stuck at orphanages? Yes, the kids, they have had some pretty traumatizing travel to get out of the country. They, it's not just jumping on a train and leaving the country. They're coming under fire and they're seeing war. The kids are seeing trauma and it is affecting them. And so the kids are strong. As they're landing, they're putting on tough smiles. Um, but you can see in their eyes that they are tired and they're hurting. You've adopted three children from Ukraine yourself, a yes. mom of eight now, and you're in the process of adopting another one. What were the obstacles that you had to face before and how more so now with this 12 year old that you're trying to adopt? Currently, the Ukrainian government cannot do anything that, you know, they're fighting to stay alive, um, so they cannot do adoptions right now it is just impossible and so it has pretty much put a um a hold on all adoptions and all hosting because they're just trying to stay alive themselves how many the are we, how many are we exactly talking about here families trying to adopt from this area and the families that are finding themselves in what is being known as now adopt a limbo during this time Yes, we have about um, 86 kids in our program that are headed for adoption. Host Orphans Worldwide does not do adoptions. We are a host only agency, but a lot of the families do pursue adoption after hosting. And so there's about 86 kids just in our program alone that their adoptions are in limbo. So what happens now? It is going to be a wait and see game. People, you know, mm. we are advocating but the Ukrainian government cannot make any decisions right now. They've got their hands full and I think we need to give them a little bit of grace also in the midst of this. Um, it is just horrific all the way around. What can we do? What can our Fox 40 viewers do to help these children who are most vulnerable and stuck in between this Russia-Ukraine war and many of them are just waiting and hoping to be with their families soon? I know a lot of our families were reaching out to Congress, um, their senator, local senators, and the State Department to see what can be done to help our families reunite with their kiddos. But the human trafficking right now is, mm. it is happening along the Polish borders, you know, and so they have to protect the children more so now than ever. So things are pretty tight with even getting in and, and seeing the kids, our team has, has faced, you know, um, just having to be completely serving, dropping stuff off because they're having to protect the kids. Because in the world that we live in, human trafficking is a huge, um, horrific problem. Jen Mitchell, co-founder of Host Orphans Worldwide, coming to us from Crestwell, Oregon this morning. Thank you for being with us and for Thank what you. you're doing and for your organization. And we pray for your family and hopefully your 12-year-old will be in your arms soon. Take care. Thank you so much. Absolutely.